Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Anissa Nurul Hovifah and I am from class 4A In this video, I will explain about the characteristics of young learners and how children learn Happy watching! According to Slattery and Wills, young learners are children between the age of 7 years old to 12 years old So here are the characteristics of young learners Number one, children are kinesthetic learners. As we know that children are energetic. They love to move around, they like to touch things, they love to play an object, and they also learn from a body gesture. So in here, I will give you a tips. First, you can provide the game, such as Simon Says, because that game requires body movement. And also, they can learn a vocabulary from that game such as Simon says wave your hands so they know what is wave your hands and then provide them a song for example head shoulder knees and toes knees and toes because the children will also learn about the vocabulary which one is head shoulder knees and toes number two children are imaginative and curious so young learners like to discover things they love to play puzzle. The tips that I can give you. First, explore something outside classroom. You can ask them to analyze any object outside classroom, for example, like in the schoolyard, and then provide them a question that they can investigate it. For example, like problem solving in the riddle. Since children are imaginative, you can do a storytelling in the classroom. Number three, egocentric. As we know that children have higher need of validations. They like being a center, they like to talking about themselves. So the gifts that I can give to you is first, give them a stage. So don't only focus on one student, but we have to give each student a chance to show them up in the class. The second is, give them compliments. As we know that children love compliments. So at classroom, you can give them a compliment as a feedback for what they have done. But remember, there is rules of giving compliments. First, you need to give them a compli compliment. For example, wow, you are so good at drawing. Don't give them a reward, but give them a compliment. Because if you give them a reward, their motivations in learning is just to get some. Number four, limited to control their emotion. As we know that children usually very sensitive, jealous, and also careless. And in terms of jealousy, what we can do is praise the children's performance, just like what I have mentioned before. And then in terms of careless, don't give them a dangerous activity, such as when we want to do an experiment, don't use dangerous substance. Number five, short attention. As we know that children are easily get bored and easily get distracted. Therefore, uh, in the classroom, we must first vary the activities to break the boredom. Don't stay too long on only one activity. And then, you can bring realia or real stuff to get your young learner's attention. And then, vary your voice. So, don't use flat intonations because they can easily get bored if you just use a flat intonation. Number six. Spontaneous. As a teacher, you cannot expect a classroom goes well as your expectations. Therefore, you can uh, vary your activities. And lastly, number seven, imitate. As we know that children love to imitate. So as teacher, you need to be a good role model for them. In terms of behavior, you must act appropriate in front of your children because they will imitate your behavior and then in terms of teaching when you want to pronounce a word you must pronounce the words correctly and clearly so children will imitate it perfectly well there are theories of learning development the major theories in developmental psychology are Piaget, Vygotsky, and Brunner they highlighting key ideas from their work that can inform how we think of children as language learners. The first is Piaget. 
He said that cognitive development is progressive reorganizations of mental processes as a result of biological maturations and environmental experience. He suggests children make sense of world by exploring, discovering, and play, and it is through these actions that learning occurs. Second, according to Vygotsky, cognitive abilities are gained through social guidance and constructions. The development and formations of ability take place through the role of culture as mediator. His approach to child development can be considered as social con constructivism form. This form the basis of what the term the ZPD or the zone of proximal development. Then according to Brenner, the cognitive development of children identified three stages. The first is inactive stage. It is characterized by encoding and storing information. And the second is the iconic stage. It begins from one to six years old. In this stage, external objects have internal representation through visual forms of mental icons and images. And the third stage, symbolic representation stage, uh, it starts from seven years and above. During this stage, information storage takes place through symbols or codes such as language. This is how children learn. First, road learning. So in this case, young learners accept everything from their teacher and then learn by doing. So children learn from everything around them. They learn indirectly rather than directly. In third, they understand most when they see, they hear, they touch and interact rather than from explanation. So abstract concepts are difficult to deal with them. And number four, motivated by external such as reward and punishment. So as a teachers, we need to be aware of students' interests to motivate them well. Number uh, five, they learn through social interactions. For example, they learn to talk and walk by the guidance of the parent. So as a teacher, uh, your students need a guide from you to learn new things. Number six, they learn in fun way. So in this case, you need to make a classroom colorful and bright with enough room for different activities and also create them interesting tasks. Okay guys, that's enough for my explanations. Thank you so much for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.